welcome to News Now here on M6, your hometown station. I'm Kara Biskarner. And I'm Dylan Panko. And here are today's top stories. The Speaker of the House, John Boehner, invited the Prime Minister of Israel to the United States Congress. Boehner said, In this time of challenge, I am asking the Prime Minister to address Congress on the grave threats radical Islam and Iran pose to our security and way of life. Americans and Israelis have always stood together in shared cause and common ideals, and now we must rise to the moment again. Last week, the trial of the Boston bombers began. One of the bombers' attorneys, Judy Clark, came out quite fast during her opening statement for Sarnev. She simply said, it was him. She also said that he will not attempt to sidestep his actions. This leads to the question as to why there will even be a trial. Clark's answer to this question is that there is still a disagreement as to why he did it. In other recent international news, on Wednesday, March 4th, U.S. Ambassador to South Korea, Mark Liebert, was attacked. Receiving a knife slash to his right cheek, Liebert was hospitalized and is in stable condition after receiving eight stitches. Seoul police report that the motive for the attack is still under investigation. On Wednesday, March 4th, six people were charged with the conspiracy to commit kidnapping of the 16-year-old Aaron Blackwell and 13-year-old Emma Blackwell. The kidnappers abducted them at gunpoint from their homes in Indianapolis and took them to Detroit in retaliation to their older sister's stealing of large amounts of money from, and drugs from one of the kidnappers. FBI and U.S. Marshal Services have worked with the Indianapolis and Detroit police to find their location and are working to get them home safely. The Michigan Department of Transportation is accepting applications for, for positions at the new Port Huron Welcome Center. The pay is $10 an hour or $20,800 a year with no benefits. Applicants have until 5 p.m. Friday to apply. No specific experience or education is required. After winning their state championship, five students attending Baker Culinary Institutes have advanced to compete in a regional competition in North Little Rock, Arkansas. Team members are Captain Jill Tucker, John Strauchman, Sean Kraft, Gabriel LeVere, and Sarah Rumps. The team is excited to compete pardon me, to compete and show off the skills earned through their hard work and dedication at Baker. That's pretty cool that we have a local school competing that well. Definitely. I know that cooking is very hard and the culinary school has to be trying for the students. Yeah, I definitely think it's really cool because my sister actually attends the Culinary Institute right now. Wow, that's, that's actually really impressive. I don't think I'd have what it takes. <laughs> Same here. Now let's go over to Brady with sports. Thanks, Kara. The Detroit Red Wings did all the right things before last Monday's NHL trade deadline and would be, excuse me, would be considered by most accounts winners. They acquired forward Eric Cole from the Dallas Stars and defenseman Merrick Zidlicki from the New Jersey Devils for a low cost. They gave up two prospects and a second and third round pick to pick up Cole and Zidlicki. The Lions have appeared to have lost one of their best defensive players in recent memory. Dominican Sue has said he will agree to sign with the Miami Dolphins to the tune of $114 million, with $60 million of that guaranteed. With other starting defensive tackle Nick Fairley set to hit the free agent market, the Lions' stellar defense could be in trouble for the 2015 season. March Madness is coming up fast. Selection Sunday will begin on March 15th. The first round will begin on the 17th and will continue on the 18th. The Madness will end with a championship game on April 6th at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. Bracket Masters have the Kentucky Wildcats and the Duke Blue Devils as the favorite in the tournament. The Marysville Vikings winter seasons are wrapping up. The girls basketball team fell to Lutheran North in the district finals 42-40. The hockey team fell in a pre-regional matchup to the Port Huron Northern Huskies 6-2. The swim team will send several relay teams to states along with individuals Tommy Butler and Kyle Ramo. Finally, the boys basketball team won their opening round matchup defeating rival St. Clair 44 to 31. And we will be right back after these short messages. According to the National Crime Victimization Survey, nearly two thirds of sexual assaults occur at night. However, this number can be reduced by learning some easy to follow nighttime safety tips. Keep a cell phone, flashlight, and some form of ID on you at all times, especially at night, but don't carry a lot of money or valuables. If you're walking or running, plan your route and let others know where you're going. Try your best not to go out alone. Avoid unpopulated or poorly lit areas. If you feel like you're being followed, find a well-populated area or go into a public building. 
Park in a well-lit area. If you notice any suspicious activity, call the police and find a safe place immediately. By following these rules, your nighttime travels can be safe and enjoyable. Every two seconds, someone in the United States is in need of blood. These people are in need of something so easy to find. It's the fact that only 3% of the population gives blood. One of the main reasons people give blood is to help others. This attitude supplies North America with 43,000 pints daily. Healthy people can donate a pint every two months, and the process only takes minutes. So go to the American Red Cross in Port Huron and donate a pint today because every pint donated saves lives. Hello and welcome back to News Now on M6, your hometown station. Now Kira, I hear that you have an interesting story for us. I sure do, Dylan. Archaeologists have been searching for a lost city in the jungle of Honduras. They have discovered the urban remains of what they believe is a vanished ancient civilization. The Honduran government is committed to protecting this area with the little money they have. After decades of animal rights activists claiming that elephants are treated cruelly when used for entertainment, Ringling Bros, one of America's largest circus companies, says that they will stop the use of elephants in its show. They plan to stop the elephant acts by 2018. I think it's crazy because the elephants have always seemed like a staple in a circus act. Yeah, you know, I actually saw a documentary about the, um, the elephants in circus acts, and apparently they're is actually a really cruel and arduous process wow. for the elephants to go through to be trained as they are. So I think it's a really good thing that they're, they're such a big company is removing the act from the show. Yeah, I agree. I think that um, the animals need to be treated fairly. Definitely. Now let's go over to Elena with school. Thank you. On the week of March 2nd, the juniors at Marysville High School took their ACT. Sophomores were required to take the plan test and freshmen had to take the explorer test. Results will be in within a month. This Saturday, March 14th, 2015, at 9.26 a.m., the annual Pi Day 5K begins. The price is $30 for a 10K and, 5, 10, 10K and 5K run. The mile run will cost $10. This does not include the Pi Day t-shirt. The shirt can be purchased for an additional $10 at the first come, first serve basis. So come on down to the high school and join the run for a great cause. Say goodbye to winter sports and say hello to spring sports. This year's spring sports include girls soccer, tennis, boys and girls track, baseball, softball, and boys golf. Be sure to go out and talk to your coaches to find out important dates and when tryouts are. Remember, you must have a physical on file before getting involved. The Marysville High School 2015 musical is coming up fast. On March 19th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd, students will be performing the musical Oklahoma, the musical is set in Oklahoma Territory, outside of the town of Claremore, in the year 1906. It's sure to be a great show, so don't miss it. We will be right back after these short messages. Welcome to Cook It Safe Challenge, where teams compete to make the right decisions about safe food preparations. Our challenge in this round, read and follow package cooking instructions and use a food thermometer. Let's see how our teams are doing so far. Team one. We just got 100 points. We separated our raw food from our cooked food. Team two. We got a 100 point green card for a proper hand washing before our meal prep. We've reached a critical safety point in the challenge. Okay, team one, let's check this out. Uh-oh, not a safe internal temperature for those hamburgers. That puts everyone at high risk for foodborne illness. You get a red card undercooked. Always read and follow the package cooking instructions and use a food thermometer. Let's see how our winning team cooked it safe and avoided problems. Well, I just kept focused on the four food safety steps. Clean, separate, cook, and chill. And we followed the package cooking instructions and took the temperature. Can you cook it safe? Hello and welcome back to News Now here on M6, your hometown station. Now, Alex, I, have, I hear you have a few interesting stories for us. I do, Kira. Do you like hot air balloons? What about space? Space is cool. What about both? If you like both, then prepare to be amazed. Zero to Infinity is one of two companies to begin space travel for tourists. For $75,000 beginning in 2016, you can take a balloon ride up to the top of the atmosphere. The ride will be about 1.5 to 2 hours to go up and about 1 hour to go down. You won't be, able to, you won't be in space, sorry, but you will be in the very top of Earth's atmosphere and you will be able to see the blue line of Earth's atmosphere. Instead of blue lines, how about blue eyes? Laser eye surgery can change your eye color. 
It's done so by taking the pigment away from the st stroma and reflecting light away from the stroma and scatters the light. When it does this, it can challenge your, change sorry, your eye color blue, altering your previous eye color. You know what you could use your brand new blue eyes for? Using the Galaxy S6. That's right, the 12 months of rumors and waiting are up, and some Samsung Galaxy S6 is finally here. The S6 has many new features, such as a stronger metal body, a 20% brighter screen than the S5, and has a wireless charger that will charge your battery for, up, for four hours in only 10 minutes. This phone will be available in 20 countries around the world starting on April 10th. And finally, Nesquik has recently decided to take food additives out of their products. Food additives such as artificial food colors and flavors can trigger or exaggerate behavior disorders and learning disabilities in children and in adults. It can occur at home, school, and at work. FDA scientists have theorized that bad reactions to artificial colorings in certain individuals may be similar to a food allergy. That's crazy that the effects of artificial coloring can have. Yeah, I know. I didn't think that something as simple as the different colors that go into our food can have such an adverse effect on our mental state. Exactly. I think it's something that is a new development. I think it's really good that they did find this out. I completely agree. Now let's see what's happening in Hollywood with Callie. Yep, I do have some good stories. This summer, Kid Rock will be holding at least eight hometown concerts at DTE in his hometown Detroit. But with an 11-day tour gap, there might be more. Kid Rock has set DTE dates for August 7th through 15th with the 31 City Tour scheduled to kick off June 24th in Hartford, Connecticut. The show's tickets will be $20, the price everyone loves. Since Kid Rock loves Detroit and we all love Kid Rock, hopefully it will be a great week. And a sadder story, do you remember the actor that played Spock in the Star Trek series? Leonard Nimoy, who was a successful actor and director, died February 27, 2015 at 83 years old. Nimoy's career in show business continued for more than 60 years and includes work as a stage actor, television guest star, series regular, and movie veteran. But his lasting claim to fame remains Spock, which endured him to millions. Did you catch the 16th episode of the sixth, family, sixth season of Modern Family? This episode of Modern Family was filmed using iPads with FaceTime. This episode was like one giant infomercial using all Apple products. They related this to how the world is actually working to, and how everyone is so addicted to screen time with their technology. When Stephen Levitin launched this episode, it, he swore it wasn't product placement, but a setup of how we live now. Are you excited for the remake of a classic fairy tale movie? The new hit movie, Cinderella, is underway. This classic fairy tale about a young girl, Ella, whose sa father sad suddenly passed away, finds herself living with her cruel stepmother and stepsisters. After Ella's many years of unfortunate luck, her life begins to change after meeting a dashing stranger in the woods. Can you, you can catch this classic in theaters on March 13th. Are you guys planning on watching the movie? Yeah, I actually made uh, plans with my friends to go see it on Friday night. Oh, sweet. I don't know if I'll see it in theaters, but I'll probably see it on a DVD or something later. It looks like a really interesting movie with uh, the new modern twist on, on the film that they're doing. Yeah, definitely. And I'm really excited because there's a new Frozen short in front of it. So. Great. <laughs> That's all we have today for News Now on M6, your hometown station.